is LVAD. A left ventricular assist device, LVAD, is a pump that is used for patients who have reached end-stage heart failure. It is surgically implanted, a battery-operated, mechanical pump, which helps the left ventricle main pumping chamber of the heart pump blood to the rest of the body. LVAD can be used as bridge to transplant therapy. This is a life-saving therapy for patients awaiting a heart transplant. Patients use the LVAD until the heart becomes available. In some cases, the LVAD is able to restore the failing heart, eliminating the need for a transplant. Destination Therapy Some patients are not candidates for heart transplants. In this case, patients can receive long-term treatment using an LVAD, which can prolong and improve patients' lives. Who invented LVAD? The first left ventricular assist device, LVAD system, was created by Domingo Leota at Baylor College of Medicine in Houston in 1962. The first left ventricular assist device, LVAD, was implanted in 1963 by Leota and E. Stanley Crawford. The first successful implantation of a left ventricular assist device was completed in 1966 by Dr. Michael E. DeBakey to a 37-year-old woman. A paracorporeal external circuit was able to provide mechanical support for 10 days after the surgery. The first successful long-term implantation of an artificial LVAD was conducted in 1988 by Dr. William F. Bernhard of Boston Children's Hospital Medical Center and Thermetics Incorporated of Woburn, Massachusetts, under a National Institutes of Health Research contract which developed HeartMate, an electronically controlled assist device. Indications the HeartMate 2 left ventricular assist system is indicated for use as a bridge to transplantation for cardiac transplant candidates who are at risk of imminent death from non-reversible left ventricle failure. It is also indicated for use in patients with New York Heart Association NYHA Class 3B or 4 end-stage left ventricular failure who have received optimal medical therapy for at least 45 of the last 60 days, and who are not candidates for cardiac transplantation. The HeartMate 2 left ventricular assist system is intended for use both inside and outside of the hospital, or for transportation of left ventricular assist device patients via ground ambulance, airplane, or helicopter. Contraindications, the HeartMate 2 left ventricular assist system is contraindicated for patients who cannot tolerate, or who are allergic to, anticoagulation therapy. Adverse events, adverse events that may be associated with the use of the HeartMate 2 left ventricular assist system are listed below. Adverse events are listed in decreasing order of frequency, except for death, which appears first because it is a non-reversible complication, death, bleeding, perioperative or late. Cardiac arrhythmia, local infection, respiratory failure, device malfunction, sepsis, right heart failure, driveline or pump pocket infection renal failure, stroke, neurologic dysfunction, psychiatric episode, peripheral thromboembolic event, hemolysis, hepatic dysfunction, device thrombosis, and myocardial infarction. The HeartMate 2 left ventricular assist system features the HeartMate 2 left ventricular assist device. The system controller for use with the HeartMate 2 LVAS, power sources, and Go Gear wearable accessories. Let's take a closer look at the system components. 
The heart made two left ventricular assist device, frequently called the pump, is implanted in the chest below the heart. One end is attached to the apex of the left ventricle. The other end connects to the ascending aorta. The drive line consists of a single cable that extends from the left ventricular assist device through the skin to the system controller. The pump is driven by an external power source via the drive line. The system controller is a small computer that controls and monitors system operation. The system controller uses lights, sounds, and on-screen messages to communicate with users about operating status and alarm conditions. A drive line, which passes through the patient's abdomen, connects the implanted pump. The two system controller power cables, one with a black connector and one with a white connector, connect to either a pair of batteries inserted into battery clips, as shown here, or to line power. Both cables provide equal power. However, the white cable transmits signals between the system controller and system monitor for use with the HeartMade 2 LVAS. Two 14-volt lithium-ion batteries are used to power the system during battery-powered operation, such as when the patient is active or when AC electricity is not available. Batteries are used in pairs and are inserted into 14-volt battery clips. When fully charged, a pair of 14-volt lithium-ion batteries can power the system for up to 10 to 12 hours depending on the activity level of the patient. The HeartMate 2 left ventricular assist device is powered through the system controller by one of the following three power sources. The power module, the mobile power unit module, or two 14-volt lithium-ion batteries for use with the HeartMate 2 LVAS. The HeartMate 2 left ventricular assist system must be connected to an external power source at all times. Power is provided to the HeartMate 2 LVAS when either the power module or the mobile power unit module is connected via a power cord to a functioning AC electrical outlet. Battery power via two 14-volt lithium-ion batteries may be utilized for up to 10 to 12 hours. The mobile power unit module provides electrical power to the system controller and pump while the patient is sleeping and or relaxing indoors. Only use the mobile power unit module with system controllers with software version 7.23 and above. The power module is intended for use in the clinical setting when the patient requires monitoring using the system monitor. Two 14-volt lithium-ion batteries are used to power the system during battery-powered operation, such as, when the patient is active, or when as electricity is not available. Let's take a closer look at the system controller for use with the HeartMate 2 LVAS. The system controller is a small computer that performs the following functions. Delivers power to the pump. Controls and monitors system operation and identifies hazard and advisory alarm conditions. The system controller was designed with several safety features, including a backup battery inside the system controller that powers the pump for at least 15 minutes during a power loss emergency, prioritized visual alarms with clear, actionable instructions, driveline diagnostic capability, and a multilingual on-screen message option. In this section, we will review the various HeartMate 2 LVAS components. The system monitor is mounted onto the power module. It is connected to the power module with the system monitor cable. 
The system monitor provides clinicians with the ability to monitor the patient's heart made to LVAS. Program system parameters, such as pump speed, assess and track alarm conditions, and view and save performance data. The power module provides power to the HeartMade 2 LVAS. It is used in the clinical setting when the patient requires monitoring using the system monitor. The system controller and the power module are connected through the power module patient cable. The power module patient cable transfers power from the power module to the system controller and transfers data from the system controller to the system monitor. The system monitor and the power module are connected through the system monitor cable. The mobile power unit module is for home or clinical use when the patient does not require monitoring using the system monitor. The mobile power unit module is used when the patient is resting or sleeping. The system controller and the mobile power unit module are connected through the mobile power unit module patient cable. The cable transfers power from the mobile power unit module to the system controller. Two 14-volt lithium-ion batteries are used to power the system during battery-powered operation, such as when the patient is active or when AC electricity is not available. Batteries are used in pairs and are inserted into 14-volt battery clips. When fully charged, a pair of 14-volt lithium-ion batteries can power the system for up to 10 to 12 hours, depending on the activity level of the patient. The battery charger for use with the HeartMate 2 LVAS calibrates, charges, and tests the 14-volt lithium-ion batteries that are used to power the system during battery-powered operation. The following is a list of Go Gear wearables accessories available for HeartMate 2 LVAS patients. Go Gear Shower Bag, Go Gear System Controller Neck Strap, Go Gear Belt Attachment, Go Gear Consolidated Bag, Go Gear Battery Holster, Go Gear Holster Vest, Go Gear Travel Bag, Go Gear Protection Bag. Now that we have finished reviewing the HeartMate 2 left ventricular assist system, let's examine the HeartMate 2 left ventricular assist device in greater detail. In this section, we will take a closer look at the following HeartMate 2 left ventricular assist device components. The inflow conduit, the flex section, the inflow elbow, the pump, the outflow elbow, and the outflow graft with bend relief. The inflow conduit consists of a 20 mm inlet cannula, constructed of sintered titanium, a flex section, and an inflow elbow with textured blood contacting surfaces. The inflow elbow attaches to the pump with an integrated locking screw ring that is hand tightened. The inflow conduit accommodates changes in anatomical position and allows the inlet to remain centered in the ventricle. The pump is a continuous flow rotary pump with a rotor that spins on blood lubricated bearings, imparting kinetic energy to the blood flow. The inflow and outflow stators straighten the blood flow as it enters and leaves the pump. The outflow graft is a sealed woven polyester graft that connects the pump to the ascending aorta. The bend relief slides over the outflow graft to prevent kinking of the graft. The HeartMate 2 LVAS driveline consists of a single cable passing through the patient's skin that is permanently attached to the HeartMate 2 left ventricular assist device. It is tunneled through the abdomen and exteriorized through a skin wound at a location deemed optimal for the patient and his or her equipment. To reduce infection, the driveline is covered with woven polyester, which encourages tissue ingrowth at the skin line.
The driveline connects the implanted pump to the system controller. The driveline contains a duplicate set of three wires. Each set consists of a primary and a backup wire that power the pump motor. Once affixed, the pump is driven by an external power source via the driveline. I hope you learned from this video. Press subscribe, like and share to support my channel. Press the bell button to be notified with my upcoming videos. Thank you.